Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the practical point of view from four platelet count. So, in, in this video, we will discuss with the manual method. The automated method will be done differently. It is a um, uh, it is a newer version of counting platelets, but for our practical point of view, I will discuss on the manual methods. I will discuss the principle, procedure and the interpretation and along with that the clinical significance as well. So the principle of this test is that whole blood sample is mixed with a diluent that is one person ammonium oxalate in which the red cells are lysed and an in improved nuper counting chamber is filled with a mixture and then platelets are counted under a microscope and the result is expressed as number of platelets per microliter or per liter. So the apparatus used for this manual method is first one is platelet diluting fluid that is one person ammonium oxalate the new improved new purse counting chamber pricking apparatus and cover slips and then a compound microscope test tube and then test tube stand test tube stand rpc pipe petri dish filter paper and then distilled water so the first procedure is take the platelet diluting fluid in a test tube so we have to take the uh, diluting fluid in a test tube and then secondly under aseptic precautions prick your finger and suck the blood up to 0 point up to here up to 0 0.5 mark of the rbcpp now immediately dip the tip of the rpc pipette in the platelet diluting fluid that you have prepared that is one one person uh, ammonium oxalate and then suck up the fluid up to 101 mark now mix the blood with the diluting fluid by holding the pipette horizontally and then waiting for 10 to 15 minutes so the in this process hemolysis takes place that is uh, where the RBCs breaks down and in the fifth procedure at the end of the 10 to 15 minutes discard the first few drops by using a tissue paper or a cotton the first one to two drops of the fluid from the pipette is are removed and then put a cover slip over the improved counting shampoo and charge the smear so in the in sixth procedure uh, in the sixth step we have to take a petri dish and then put a filter paper at the bottom of it so that um, if, uh, so that it will be under a moist environment so you have to put a distilled water around the filter paper and then place the charged impro uh, charge improved new push counting chamber in moist petri dish for 20 minutes or 20 to 30 minutes and during this time platelets will settle down so after taking it out you rub off the moist by using a tissue paper or ready dry the new counting chamber and then <coughs> observe under the microscope so after 20 to 30 minutes put the charge chamber on a, on the mechanical stage of the microscope and then count the platelets in only 25 rpc squares that is this portion so how will you identify platelets so platelets are highly refractile round bodies and they are very small 2 to 4 mi micrometer in diameter and then well separated from other cells so the, the, the small spots that you see in these pictures in this picture are the platelets so coming to the calculations for that the calculate calculating the diluting factor we have to take the final volume achieved that is 
200 and actual volume taken that is 0 0.5 so dilution factor is 200 so the final cal calculation is the area of RPC square that is taken that is the 25 uh, squares that has been taken and the depth uh, depth that is 1 by 10 mm that is the depth of the pupil counting chamber and then volume of RPC squared is equal to uh, 1 by 10 mm cube and then one that is 1 by 10 in, uh, mm cube contains n number of platelets then 1 mm cube contains 1 into n number of platelets that is the n divided by 1 by 10 is equal to n into 10 so as per our principle, we have to multiply uh, count with the dilution factor is equal to n into 10 into 200 equal to n into 2000. So that is the calculation. So if suppose, okay. So coming to the interpretation of the platelet count, first the normal value is 1 like 50,000 to 4 like 50,000 per mm cube. And then the increased platelet count that is called thrombocytosis, thrombocytosis can be seen in chronic myeloproliferative disorders and then chronic inflammatory disease, hemorrhage, sickle cell disease, and iron deficiency anemia. And then uh, coming to the clinical significance, platelet count is usually obtained if uh, there is a suspicion of bleeding disorder or hemorrhagic disorder thrombocytopenia that is um, in decrease in platelets uh, which is generally not associated with bleeding and then platelet count between 50,000 to 20,000 per microliter causes excess bleeding following a surgery or a mild degree of spontaneous bleeding and then platelet count below 20,000 per microliter is usually associated with severe hemorrhage and then bleeding is often serious if platelets uh, count is below 5000 per microliter and then thrombocytosis that is increase in platelet count uh, that, uh, that uh, can be seen in chronic myeloproliferative disorders as I've discussed in the previous slide and is sometimes associated with thrombosis and then bleeding manifestations so that's all about the platelet count using a new counting chamber I hope you've understood thank you